morning besties how are we welcome back to another week in the life i do these very long very chill week in the life videos this week i'm hoping is going to be really productive it's got a big work week got some videos i need to film clients i need to edit for to be honest i don't really have many social plans this week but we'll see where the week takes me maybe i will i know my brother is in town tomorrow so i'm gonna be getting dinner with him and that's honestly all i know oh the other exciting thing happening this week is the Brat remix album is dropping on Friday. That's the week I'm filming this. So by the time this goes live, it will have already changed my life, I'm sure. But I'm so excited. I'm such a Brat girly. I'm very excited. We got Ariana on it. We got Julian Casablancas. We've got Tinashe. Like the, the lineup is insane. So I'm also very excited for that. It's currently 9.13 a.m. I've been to the gym, woken up, all of that. I am actually like so tired today because on the weekend well literally yesterday on sunday we like the clocks went forward so now we're in summer daylight savings and obviously that's amazing because the sun didn't even set till like really late last night but it did mean i lost an hour of sleep and it's actually impacted me like a lot more than I thought that it would so even like last night i was trying to get to sleep and i couldn't because it felt like it was an hour earlier anyways it's fine it's all good it's just um impacted me a little bit but this morning i have to jump on actually really quickly and do some client revisions because they live in the us in texas and it's currently sunday afternoon for them and they want to post this youtube video on sunday night so in like a matter of hours and i think i'm gonna spend most of my day focusing on this client that i'm doing the revisions for and then just a quick one in terms of like the other videos so getting the spinning wheel of death and it's driving me insane if you guys don't have a mac it's like the the loading wheel oh my god my mouse is on one percent no i'm actually gonna end it all we need to talk about this okay with this stupid mac mouse she's cute she's aesthetic right the only way you can charge this mouse is by plugging it in at the bottom so basically you can't use it while it charges who designed this so what am I meant to do? Am I just like not meant to work? Okay guys, this is my to-do list for the day. This honestly could take me like two hours. It could take me five. I really don't know, but I have done the revisions and while my mouse is charging because i have to unfortunately charge that i am going to import some footage because i don't need really need a mouse <laughs> to do this let's just get this to-do list done i'm just gonna check in probably on my lunch break and i'll let you guys know how everything went hi friends i am not being productive anymore it's 1 p.m and i've actually done everything that i need to do today my client stuff won't come through until probably like wednesday so i'm actually going to use my time efficiently and have some fun and i'm gonna read my book this is technically for like my reading slump video but also i'm trying to get out of a slump so it's also for me so this is kind of where my job gets weird because i'm technically taking the afternoon off but i'm also technically working but i'm reading oh Big kisses. I got changed into this shirt that I bought on the weekend. It's sorry, by the way, Esme is being so loud right now. Do you have anything to say? Thank you for sharing. There's this Instagram account called Books with Jess. Books with Jess, is that what it's called? I'll put it up on the screen. But I didn't realize she's a Melbourne based, which is where I live, um, book merch seller. And she makes the cutest stuff. If you saw it in this video, I have been wearing this hoodie that says book club and it's from her and it is literally my favorite hoodie. Like I'm obsessed. I have a camera here. I find that it's like great lighting with the windows behind. And then I also have this camera that I'm filming on right now, which I use to do some like handheld page flipping you know you gotta get that b-roll so anyways i'm gonna read i'm so excited and i'm just actually so grateful that at 1 p.m on a monday i can do this like it does not cease to ever amaze me how insane this job is like i just can't believe that this is what i get to do actually crazy <laughs> Good 
morning officially friends happy tuesday morning as you would have seen i went for a run actually got out in the perfect time because now it's really cloudy but when i was running it was freezing it was like eight degrees but it was super sunny super beautiful i absolutely hate going for a run early in the morning but when i'm actually running and then afterwards like I feel so amazing so this is obviously your sign if you are procrastinating getting a little bit of movement in I would highly recommend it because it actually always makes you feel better I don't think there's been a time where I've worked out and regretted it except for maybe if I was like sick or something but anyways as I said it's Tuesday today is just another work from home day but Beth is actually coming over around midday she wants to make t-shirts using my Cricut machine. My Cricut machine, by the way, has come so in handy because me and like my group of friends, we make custom t-shirts for like every event ever. I made one for the weekend for the AFL grand final and it said go sports and it went down a treat. But anyways, Beth is going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert. I think she's going like every night, <laughs> which is low key iconic, but she wants to come over and use my Cricut machine. But she also hit 40K this morning. So I want to go and get her some flowers because she was so kind to me when I hit 50K. She dropped over like flowers and little cupcakes. It was just like the sweetest thing ever. So I definitely want to do something nice for her as well. So I'm going to go and get her a beautiful bouquet of flowers. I think Ethan's going to come with me so we can just like go for a little walk and maybe grab a coffee, just have a chill Tuesday morning. And then I'll come back here and get stuck into work. Anyways, let's go for a cute little walk and buy Beth some flowers. Okay guys, we just got home. I actually did the cutest thing. I totally forgot to film this, but I got Beth these beautiful white flowers and look what I did for the front of it. This part was actually Ethan's idea because I have all these letters from this like life scrapbook kind of thing that I have where I keep all of my memories and I don't have heaps of letters left because I've used them all. So this all worked out and then I ended up like Frankensteining the T and then Ethan was like, you should make a four out of like these two letters that he found. So we've definitely done this in a very, you know, low budge arts and crafts way, but I think it looks so cute. And then I also got Beth these stickers on the weekend. These were like technically for her birthday, but I figured, cause I've already got other birthday presents for her. I'll just give these stickers to her now for 40K. So we have an I Heart Harry Styles sticker, very on brand for her. We also have this <laughs> other Harry Styles sticker. And then I have a Taylor Swift sticker. So I feel like she's gonna like those. And I know she keeps stickers on her water bottle. Slash, I feel like she was saying that she wanted to put some on her suitcase. So I thought they were super cute to give her as well. 40K. Go bestie, go. She's killing it. Anyways, I'm just waiting for her to come over now. I've put out all of my Cricut supplies. So this is my actual Cricut. And then I've kind of just pulled down my whole craft basket. But this is like the material that she needs to use. So we're just going to do it over here in my little hallway. Slash, I might make her a little coffee. And I would love another coffee as well. So I might um, catch up with her and just like have a coffee off camera. Do you guys remember when I gave up caffeine? Cause I'm not doing that anymore. It did, to be fair, make me feel so amazing. I gave it up for probably like a good six months. Did I fully give it up or did I still have matcha? I can't remember, but I gave up actual coffee, but now I'm back on my bullshit. Can't a girl just live her life without having to worry about, oh, I just feel like there's so many things that I'm like, need to be better at. And I'm just trying to do them one at a time. Like right now I'm going to therapy, fixing my mind and then like trying to also get good sleeps. Like I have my Fitbit, I track my sleep. That feels like enough. And I'm going back to the gym. Like I'm in my weights era. Like I'm going to the gym three times a week. I'm running. Like I don't need to worry about caffeine right now. Surely. Also got a sleep score of 86 last night. That's what we like to see. Although I'm not getting enough deep sleep. So I don't know what's happening there. But anyways, while I wait for Beth to get here, she's just like on the tram now. So she'll be here momentarily. I think I'm going to just do a little bit of admin. I have an email that I need to reply to and then just going to reply to some comments. You guys are loving the week 
vlog, the 50 minute one that I posted a few weeks ago now. So I'm so glad because here I am filming another one. I just love to like have these videos on in the background if I'm like doing really anything like cooking, cleaning, but also I love to sit down and actually actively watch them as well. So let me know how you're watching this vlog right now. Am I on in the background while you clean? I will take no offense if I'm a background watcher for you or are you like sitting down having a cup of coffee actually watching this? If you are, I hope you're not bored. <laughs> Okay, friends, Beth's here. Hello. We're making her t-shirts for Olivia. Are you excited to I'm, go see her? I'm very excited. I'm like in denial, but also very excited. Right. You know what I mean? If Beth's gonna do anything, like if you guys watch her channel, you'll know this, but if she's gonna do anything, it's go to a concert and go to that concert three nights in a row. Period. Like that's just, and we love you for it. I am who I am and I'm not sorry. And I'm you shouldn't sorry. change, you shouldn't change. Why is it so hard to get concert tickets? No, it's actually, and so expensive. Why? It's like the fucking Hunger Games. Like GA is over $200. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I also have VIP, so like grateful, but like, I can't do anything wow. else for the rest of my life now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you see a two hour YouTube video on Beth's channel for the Olivia Rodrigo concert? You know why? <laughs> Beth just left. It's literally 2.25. She came over at midday. If there's one thing Beth and I can do, it's yeah, but honestly, I am so happy that that happened. I love hanging out with her and also she's leaving. She's leaving me. Not that everything's about me, but in my world it is. And she is in fact going to New York, living her best life. And I'm so happy for her, but also she's my friend. One of my only friends. I'm gonna miss her. What am I actually gonna do? It's the most beautiful evening. It's literally like almost six, I think. 5.33 and it's so beautiful. Daylight savings has made the biggest difference. Like the fact that it doesn't get dark until 7.38 now. It's what dreams are made of. Um, anyways, I'm almost done with the Thursday Murder Club. I am loving this book so much right now, but I am meeting my brother in an hour. So I thought we could get ready together. Oh my God, Esme's dying for some food. Honestly, <laughs> I know the lighting in here is kind of crazy, so please forgive me, but I am going out for dinner and a drink with my brother who's in town. I think I already said that. And Ethan's gonna come as well. We're gonna go and get tacos. I'm so excited. I never go out for tacos because tell me why they're so expensive. Like if you get a burrito, I would happily, sorry, I have Esme hair all over my lip. I would happily pay like, 20 bucks for a burrito because you know what you're going to get like a burrito is thick it's chunky you know you're going to be so full tacos i feel like it's normally like eight dollars a taco and they're like this big and they don't have rice or anything so they don't even fill you up i just don't understand the price difference when i feel like the ingredients are kind of similar don't shoot me for saying that but i i feel like it's true on saturday morning beth and i are going to go to a brat drag brunch we went to this place it's in melbourne it's called carolina coffee bar obviously it's in melbourne i live in melbourne if you guys live here you should definitely go it's such a fun place to be like they just they really get the vibes but we went for a sabrina drag brunch and i'm not even like super obsessed with sabrina like i love her vibe i love like you know her songs but i'm definitely not like a fucking super fan kind of vibe but it was like the most fun morning ever so i'm really excited to go again with beth but when we went to the sabrina drag brunch we got really drunk and we ended up kicking on like all night whereas this time it's just me and beth so we're gonna try and keep things reasonable i'm definitely gonna have a mimosa but i'm not gonna go crazy because it would be nice to have like a bit of a weekend off drinking i feel like I've been drinking a lot more kind of socially than I normally would. And the thing about me, let me know if you guys are the same, but my favorite way to spend time with friends is like a picnic, a dinner, like something wholesome, where you might have like a glass or two of wine or a cocktail, but it's not like you're not going out and getting like super trashed. Whereas I feel like that's kind of been the vibe lately. So I'm really excited this spring and summer to just like bring back the wholesome, wholesome energy and still like partake, but maybe just do it in a bit more of a relaxing way. Cause honestly, the 
anxiety that drinking gives me and also just like the next day i feel so full of like self-hatred because i am so into just like taking care of my body and my mind right now and when i drink i feel like it really sets me back so i'm just constantly trying to find the balance with drinking i feel like i always always have tried to find that balance because it's like i don't want to totally stop it that's just not like i love wine i love to go on wine tastings and like my parents love wine so it's a really beautiful bonding experience but i also don't want to like be doing the thing that i used to do when i was like 21 you know so i'm just trying to find that balance i feel like it's very that's like a very common feeling in your like mid to late 20s you kind of feel like you've done it and maybe want to just like settle down a little bit but also i will say i do think it's a long-term relationship thing too like if i was single i would definitely be going out and like partying more than i am so yeah i'm also like obviously not judging any of you i hope that you know that anyways i said i was gonna get ready with you and i haven't like told you anything that i use i feel like you guys probably don't care that much the main questions i get for my makeup are i'll tell you when they come up but it's like my lips and my eyes but in case you're curious i use the emco beauty flawless glow this is like the charlotte tilbury dupe and that gives you like a really glowy base and then i use the tiniest bit of the maybelline fit me i am in the shade light beige that's so on brand for me my concealer this concealer is not like amazing i don't know if you guys have any good concealer recommendations let me know this is the l'oreal paris infallible it's fine and then my powder is the kosas powder this is the feathery cloud set it's all right i don't know i'm not like obsessed with any of my base makeup like it always comes out looking fine like i'm happy with how my skin looks but i don't think i'm like obsessed with it i'd be so open to changing and trying new things but the main thing for me is i need my makeup to look really light and natural it's just it's just my vibe like i said the most common questions i get is my eye makeup and the only thing that i really wear on my eyes on an everyday basis is the rare beauty highlighter this is in the shade enlighten it's actually completely broken but it's this like very very light silvery pink and i wear it on the inner corners of my eyes it is the most beautiful color i probably could find an eyeshadow that does the same thing but nothing has ever worked like this highlighter it's so sparkly and so perfect and it just really brightens up the inner corners of my eyes and like i just don't think i look good without it sorry the lighting is so bad you can't even see what i'm talking about can you see this way see the inner corners of my eyes how bright they are that's what i'm talking about i have two options for lip liners i bought one of these in my most recent vlog my og tried and true lip liner is revlon color stay long wear in the shade nude it's this like dark brown color it's so stunning and then the other one that i like equally as much oh my god esme just opened the door the other one that i like is in the shade mauve you can tell that this one is just like a bit more pinky the one on the top whereas the nude is a bit more brown um so i'll use the mauve 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 today i know some people overline their lips i actually just do it on the very edge of my lip because i again like i really like a natural looking makeup and i find that this makes my lips look bigger anyway without needing to overdraw. I'm really hoping you can tell the difference. And then you can obviously blend it if you like. And then I just go straight in with lip gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. I'm obsessed with this lip color. Basically my goal is like, and also just a caveat, I do not know what I'm talking about when it comes to makeup, but the lip liner needs to be like a few shades darker than your natural lip. A side note, apparently you can look at your nip and that's like your perfect lip shade, I don't know. Anyways, and then the lip gloss, I like it to be as close to my natural lip color as possible. And I just find it looks so nice and I just look like they look a little bit plumper, looks really put together. So that is what I do. And then I'm just gonna curl my lashes cause I'm literally going to see my brother so he doesn't care 
what I look like. I'm not gonna do eyeshadow or anything. Curl my lashes, whack on mascara. The one that I'm using is the Maybelline Sky High. If I'm feeling crazy, I will put some clear brow gel on. And today I am feeling crazy because, oh my God, I need to go and get my eyebrows waxed. Maybe I'll do that this week on like Thursday or something. But yeah, they're, they're crazy at the moment. And that's literally it. Also, as a side note, I was loving how my hair looked with these clips in. So I think I'm actually gonna put some like proper clips in my head because I feel like that would be cute. My favorite clips are just these little silver ones. I just got these from Amazon. Hair and makeup is done. That took me 10 minutes, but if I wasn't talking shit the whole time, it would have taken five. It's so quick and easy. Oh my God, Esme is going crazy. Okay, before I go and deal with her quickly, I'm gonna put on an outfit. Obviously, I'm just hanging out with my brother. So it literally does not matter what I wear, but I feel like I want to look nice. Like I don't have many excuses to look cute. So it's also freezing outside. Okay, I landed on the top I was wearing today, pink jeans, and then an oversized blazer. And I feel like this is cute. I'm probably just gonna wear my white sneakers realistically because I don't have any cute black shoes. <laughs> I ended up just doing a bunch of work yesterday and it was so boring um, and then we went out for drinks with one of Ethan's friends but I'm getting ready to go for a walk with my friend Rach. I told you guys in my last vlog that we normally do like a morning coffee but this morning I'm gonna walk her to work which is crazy but she's doing this like big step challenge thing so we're gonna go for like an hour walk and then I'm gonna have to walk another 30 minutes home. So it's going to be a big step day, but I'm excited. It looks like it's going to be, actually, it looks like it's really cold outside. I'm not going to lie, but it is going to be a pretty morning. It's nice and early. It's like 7.15 right now. I'm going to jump on a tram and go and meet her. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm sitting down at my desk now. I am gonna get into the work portion of my day. First thing on my list is to get a client video done. So I'm just downloading the footage now. I don't think it's gonna take me too, too long because it's just a vlog and they don't really take me that long to edit. So I think I can get that done this morning. Normally I will like time block, but I've just been so lazy lately. Like I don't know what's been going on, but I've just been really unmotivated to work i don't know anyways so this is my day it's just gonna be another computer heavy day i want to check my actual calendar as well like do i have anything on i don't have anything social on today or tomorrow night so that's good so i can kind of just get some work done i need to take a new passport photo and so if i'm like blow drying my hair and looking cute maybe i should do that today as well how do i even do that because we don't have to renew our passport until like we just renew it once every 10 years so i haven't done this in a long time so let's see renew our passport using our online portal hell yeah i absolutely hate when a password has to be 10 characters or more and it needs like a capital and a number like you're asking for a little bit much there babe they've had to send me like three codes i've had two codes sent via email and now i have to authenticate it using my phone like i don't want anybody to steal my identity so i guess i just have to appreciate the grind that they're doing but it's like it's not that deep is it ever so deep that you need a 10 digit passcode with an uppercase and a special character I don't think it's ever that deep. Start renewal passport application. Oh my God, this is so easy. Okay. Wait, how much is this gonna cost? Is this gonna be expensive? I didn't budget for this, but. This is what I'm doing for the next 10 minutes while my footage downloads. Four. All right, well, it looks like I have to print out the documents, go and get a photo taken at the post office. Cause like, I have to print the photo, so I might as well just go in there with my documents and my passport, get them to take the photo and renew the passport at the same time. And I don't have to pay today, so I have some time to put together 
$400. So I guess that was productive. Just dragging the footage I downloaded into the folder and then I'll set up my Final Cut project and we'll get to editing. Finding music is so hard sometimes. Oh yeah. It's like a song just either is the vibe or it isn't the vibe and there are no rules. But tell me that this is not the perfect song for a cleaning montage. Oh yeah. Wipe the shower screens. <laughs> I'm delirious. All right, another song. Should we do jazz? 2020's pop? Perfect. See you guys. You either get the vibe or you don't. Hi friends, I'm in the bathroom. I have my mic on because the audio can be bad in here. So hopefully you can hear me. The first thing I wanna say is that I think I'm in a terrible mood today and I've only just <laughs> realized, which is really fun. I've just been like so tired all day and I feel like I'm not being productive, even though I objectively am, like I've gotten stuff done, but I feel like I'm a completionist when it comes to work. So like over the last few days, I've done 90% of my video, my one client's video and my other client's video, but because I haven't actually like finished or exported anything, I feel like I'm behind, but I'm not behind because tomorrow, which is Friday, I'm working with Beth and I'm just gonna be like doing the finishing touches, exporting and making the thumbnails. So really it's fine, but just in my head, I'm like, I feel stressed when I don't have a reason to be stressed. Anyways, it's now 3.41. I've obviously had a shower and I'm going to blow dry my hair and then film this part of my video because this will mean that all of the filming is done for my video that's going live on Monday and I can like actually just tick that off the list. So this is gonna be good, but I wanted to show you guys a really quick little how I blow dry my hair in case you care because I, I know people are like, I get so many questions, but like I actually have gotten a lot of questions and compliments on my hair. And because I am so bad at doing my hair, like so bad, if I can do it, then anyone can do it. So I thought I would quickly show you and give you the tape. So the main thing that I use is the Shark Air Wrap, whatever it's called. It's like the Dyson dupe from Shark. This is the blow dryer. And then these are the two attachments that are like the air wrap attachments and that is what i use on my hair when i first got this i i was like this is amazing but then i noticed that my hair literally fell out every like five minutes after i'd done it every time but now i figured it out and the main thing that you need even if whether you're using the shark the dyson or you're just blow drying your hair with a brush using a blow dry brush or whatever is you need hair mousse it is the only thing that's going to make your blowout stay from my experience and just so you know i have the world's finest hair like i have a bit of it it's not thick hair by any means but like i have a lot of fine hair and my hair does not hold a curl like it could not hold a curl to save its life my hair naturally is like wavy but it just doesn't hold a curl at all. Never has been able to, even when I go to the hairdresser, like she falls out. But yes, the most important thing is mousse. This is just a random one that I got on Amazon. I wasn't really sure where to go and I didn't want to spend heaps of money. This is the Techni Art, sorry, there's like hair all over it, but it's the Techni Art Mousse Full Volume Extra. And it's really good. I like it. I would definitely repurchase. So I just put like, that much in that's honestly probably even a bit too much but i like smash it between <laughs> both my hands and then i just run it through mainly my ends but also a little bit up on my roots as well so i kind of run it like halfway up the key is like i don't want my hair to be greasy but i want it to hold a curl and have volume and then i also put just a little bit of hair oil in this is one that I got from Japan, just a random hair oil, but um, that's like to protect my hair from heat as well as to keep the ends nice and moisturized and shiny so that it looks fresh. It also smells amazing. It's like a honey 
hair oil it smells so good then i obviously wash it all off my hands because it's disgusting at this point i will either go and like work or whatever and wait until my hair is at like probably 80% dry or if I want to get my hair done ASAP which is like what I want right now I will blow dry it to 80% this is maybe like a touch too dry but there are some sections that are pretty damp still so you just kind of want your hair to be like a little bit damp and then you need to get little clips I always start with my right side and I just section it into like three-ish sections so I kind of take the section near my ear and then I just tie this up on my head for later so what you do is you take a thin section the size of the section really does matter and this takes like practice and just kind of figuring it out on your own but I find that a section about this size is pretty good and then you make sure that you have the right side so this is the side that goes out the ways and I'll show you without it being on but basically what you do is you hold it at the middle of the hair and then you put the barrel behind it upright and it sucks it on so it'll kind of suck it on like this and then you just like slowly move up your head until all the hair is sucked on. So I'll show you what that looks like. I hold it on for about 20 to 30 seconds and then just let it drop and that's literally it. Like it's so easy. And then you turn it off and you just like pull down and it's a beautiful curl. I do find the bottom layer the hardest like it just doesn't curl the way that I want it but when I get up to the top layers it works perfectly so I'll show you one more time but like it's so easy you've just seen how easy it is and that's it it's so easy and then on the left side you obviously just do the exact same except like backwards so you just hold it still with your right hand and just it sucks on like this and then you just move up and you just have to change the head all right guys the hair is done except for the front two pieces so now what i do is i just replace the barrel with the right one because for me i like to curl them backwards so that they swoop but i know some people like to curl them forward so it's totally personal preference but i just grab the little front pieces and do the exact same thing except this time I'm holding the barrel like this so I'll just show you and then I turn it off and I just kind of like gently pull them to the side and they'll look insane at first but they have a lot of volume and so obviously this hair is crazy but like I said my hair doesn't hold a curl to save its life so this falls out pretty quickly if I had a hairspray I would spray it now but I don't have it at the moment but I'm sure that that would mean that your curls last a lot longer but the mousse does a pretty good job the hair normally like I'll leave it and it will fall out pretty naturally and basically the look that I want this to become is like a blowout look so not so much curls like this but it more falls out into a blowout but um because I'm uh, like I have nothing left in me nothing in the tank but I really want to film film this and finish this video because my future self will say thank you so I'm just gonna comb out the hair with my um, fingers just so that it's a bit more of a natural like blowout vibe as opposed to ringlet curls um but yeah this is the look i'm sitting here i'm about to film the wrap up portion of the video i'm filming and i'm gonna take the thumbnail okay friends i ended up finishing the thursday murder club yesterday
All right, that took me probably five five minutes and 22 seconds to film. She's done, and now I'm going to set up for the thumbnail. I kind of have a vision, which is going to take a little bit of energy, but I think it's going to be worth it. So I'm going to set up on this table behind me. I want to do like a stack of books. So anyways, you, you'll see. Okay, besties, I don't know how well you could see that, but I kind of positioned myself between these two stacks of books it's so weird posing for thumbnails you're like if I'm doing like a regular video it's like and then if I'm doing like like that one I had to pretend to be sad so I was just like <laughs> oh I really have to bring out my in a theater kid. Anyways, believe it or not, I do feel 10 times better now that that's done. So I'm going to read my book. I'm so excited despite the title of this and the contents of this book. Like I'm already broken just thinking about this. I, oh, it's going to be a tough one, but I am like loving it so much so far. So I'm actually so excited to just dive into this. Good morning, besties. As you can tell, the hair didn't hold up super well throughout my sleep but it's obviously now Friday morning bit of a later start that's not me trying to flex it is only 10 to 8 but my new kind of routine is that I'm typically in the gym by 7 30 but I wanted to check my sleep score because I feel like I just knocked out but also I'm still feeling really tired so I got uh, Okay, I got seven and a half hours of sleep. My sleep score was 88%. I got 24% REM and 22% deep. So obviously I really needed a big sleep. But anyways, I do feel like a bit, I think I'm just a bit run down. That's okay, but I am still going to go down to the gym just because it makes me feel so much better. And I'm to be honest with you, I'm pretty bad at discipline but I've been really good at just like being at the gym Monday, Wednesday and Friday every week. So I'm going to not break that. And even if I go and I'm, I'm not the best today, at least I went and showed my face. Also guys, today, I believe if I open Spotify right now, the Brat remix album will be out. It is literally out right now. So that's what I'm going to be listening to at the gym. I am so excited to listen to Sympathy is a Knife with Ariana Grande. I feel so much better after that workout. It's almost like working out gives you endorphins. Never heard that one before. Guys, the Brat Remix album is so good. I am loving it personally. I think it's so good. I love the song with Ariana, Slaps. The Apple remix with Japanese, is it Japanese house or Japanese wallpaper? I always get them confused. Japanese house. So fun. Love it. I also cried during the Bon Iver remix of I Think About It All The Time. I loved it. I feel like Charlie just is, she's just such a genius. I don't know. She's just really, she's owning the stage right now. And I'm very excited for her. Our apartment is a bit of a mess right now. And I just feel like I'm constantly cleaning and things just never stay clean because you live, you have to like live, but then I can't live if things aren't clean and it's so annoying. Okay, we only have one egg left. I think maybe they didn't give Ethan eggs in like his Woolworth order. So I'm just gonna have one egg and poor Ethan is gonna have to fight for his life. This part is my favorite. Oh god, it's so good! Alright, I'm basically ready. I'm not doing any makeup today because I just actually cannot be fucked and it's very much going to be a headphones on working kind of day. My friend Jem just got me these really cute earrings. You probably can't see, they're so so tiny but perfect okay guys i got them in they, that actually took so long because my nails are all grown out right now just ejecting my hard drives and i will see you guys at the library
I literally have to get this video done in the next 45 minutes. Yes, yeah, yeah, run. Let's, yeah, let's go. go. Okay, let's three, two, go. one, go. Good morning, besties. It's Saturday morning. I'm actually in probably the world's biggest rush. It's 11.28. And my friend Beth is going to be here in like literally five minutes. We're going to go to Brat Drag Brunch, but I am not ready at all. So we're going to do a speed run of my makeup. Luckily, I can do my makeup in about five minutes. So this should be fine, but not the ideal time for me, you know. Last night, I just ended up um, lying on the couch, reading my book, making dinner. Nothing exciting. I actually finished my book this morning. That's what I've been doing for the last few hours. Had a nice little Saturday sleep in and yet yeah, finished The Tattooist of Auschwitz, which, oh my God, was such an incredible book. Like, I just really, really loved it. It was obviously really sad, but I don't know. It was just really, really amazing. I also didn't realize, but um, Lael, who is the, I, I want to say main character, but it's based on a true story. So he um, is the person you're kind of reading from his perspective. He moved to Melbourne, which I just thought was crazy. That's why like how the author got to talking with him and finding out his story. And I just thought that was wild because I currently live in Melbourne. Anyways, incredible book. I gave it a five stars. I could not recommend it more. Makeup is done in record time, I reckon. That was like less than five minutes. I've been recording this clip for seven minutes, but that's including my chatting. The question is, can I wear my hair out? I think I can. I'm just going to get my dry shampoo. Okay, guys, this is the Brat Brunch fit. The jacket is Ethan's. Thank you, Ethan. The shirt is my 365 Party Girl shirt that I made for a recent Brat event. And then I'm wearing this white skirt and white shoes. And then I have these little green clips in my hair. Honestly, I changed at least 50 times, but I'm happy with what we landed on. It's one of those weird days in Melbourne where like the sun feels like it's 30 degrees, but the day is actually 14 degrees and it is so hard to dress for these days. But anyways, I am, I'm ready and I'm packing my lip balm and stuff, my little camera tripod. I'm gonna bring my mini mic, see if we can get some fun content, my little camera case and my phone. So I will see you guys there. Hi friends, Hi. we're at Brat Brunch. What did we just order? Apple martinis? Do you want to be on my YouTube channel? Okay, so I have a YouTube channel. What do you want to say to my subscribers? Hi subscribers, hello, my name is Zita Ghost. I'm doing drag in the daytime. Um, that's questionable, but... Um, it's not questionable, she's fucking amazing. Yeah, so I'm excited to be here. Uh, happy Brat Saturday. Woo. Happy uh, Brat Girl Summer. Yeah, or spring. Oh, spring. Mm, yeah. well. Season's not real. Yeah, come, do you want to say hi to my subscribers? Oh my god, shut up, they're subscribers. Hi subscribers. You have the mic, what do you want to say? Um, Subscribers, <laughs> hi. That was so unbelievably iconic. Did the whole cafe just look at me? Yes, they did. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna order brunch and watch the queens perform. I don't even remember what we were saying. Oh my God, Bratinis! Thank you so much. Who's here to have a good time? <laughs> We have to leave a review to get a free shot and Beth just googled google.com instead of googling the name of this cafe. <laughs> I am who I am and I got there in the end. I am on google.com. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sponsor me, I guess. <laughs> This day was so much fun. Brat brunch was just amazing. The queens were so lovely. And then Beth and I ended up kicking on and we had a great little bestie night. But for whatever reason, I just drank way too much and it made me sad because I really wanted to have like a wholesome Sunday and I ended up just being wiped out by my hangover. So I decided on Sunday that I was going to take a step back from drinking because I mentioned before, but I have been drinking a lot lately and it just doesn't serve me right now. So I don't know if you guys have been on that journey, if you're on that journey, but leave me a comment because I'm just constantly wanting to reevaluate my relationship with the things that I'm doing and I'm excited to take a little break from drinking and see how I feel. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next week with a new video. I don't got time to be thinking about things we can't figure out.